the advice that I would have for a market goer is to come early. Come early and bring a big basket because you and a lot of money because you're going to see a lot more stuff than you thought that you would find here. Uh, after the first one or two times you've been down, you'll find you're down here a lot more often and be purchasing a lot more of your fresh fruits, vegetables, meats, and honeys down here. All the greens are really delicious in the springtime because once summer hits, it's a lot. They just get a little more bitter because they start to want to bolt. I would say baby kale are really good right now, and if you're lucky, you could find strawberries. We have a pretty good variety of cuts this time of year. Uh, the chicken is always good. People love our chicken at the farmer's market. Um, a couple different new goat sausages, which are also very yummy. I would definitely recommend all leafy greens right now, any sort of salad mix or brassica or things like that. I think it's really nice to be inspired by what's in, what's actually in season, so kind of coming with an open mind to trying new things and seeing what just looks like the best quality of whatever's there. So kind of, kind of like a, not having as much expectation as when you might go to the grocery store and have more of like seeing seeing what is being grown and what is in, truly in season and really happy and yummy looking. The strangest food are probably the kohlrabi. There are these purple looking vegetables and they're very alien like and I had never seen one before and the other man that I work with here was very offended because it was his favorite vegetable and I had never had it before. <laughs> Sometimes we do like garlic whistles. Those are interesting to people. Those are like uh, the tops of the garlic where the bud would be the flower would be starting. We sell uh, uh, prunes here, we sell honey here, beeswax candles, I've got a few fruit trees, lemons, limes, uh, we've got pollen. We sell grass-fed beef, pastured pork, lamb, goat, and chicken. I would say find something that you're not going to find at a supermarket, and even if you don't know what it is, you can always go home and find out. The internet's a wonderful tool for that. Know where your meat comes from, talk to the farmers in order to find out, and see if you can make trips to the farms that you're buying your meat from. The advice that I would give to any market goer would be to kind of peruse the entire market, check out what's freshest, and um, then go back and purchase and spread the wealth throughout all the farms. Yeah, just go step out of the box and find something.